Oh my gosh. First cast on that thing. <laughs> so they were there. They were there the whole time. Look at that. There. Eat that power swimmer on the jig head. That's something I'm gonna show you guys today when that swim jig bite uh, gets tough and they're not eating the swim jig with the skirt. We're just peeling that sucker off and putting a power swimmer on there. So we're using a 3.8 Berkeley power swimmer and we're putting it on a quarter ounce dirty jig swim jig head right there, just like that. Just because they're being a little finicky and we're gonna, we're gonna trick them. It's a little trick when they don't wanna eat the swim jig. There we go. Ooh, better one there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Man, I'm telling you, they're finicky, but man, yeah. See all the guys up there. When, we got, when you guys watch this, Berkeley Power Swimmer, quarter ounce dirty jig swim jig, yank the skirt off, sucker catches them. So, the, you know, the reason I like to use the swim jig head, uh, instead of going Texas rig, instead of, uh, you know, put it on like a, you know, a big wide gap hook, um, is I feel like, cause these fish, they're right, they're real finicky today. And uh, this, is, this is less of them. I won't have to set the hook as hard. I can almost just pull this tight. And, uh, and it's almost like having it on an open hook, you know? So that's why I like putting the, using the actual same jig head that I would have been swimming with the skirt. Uh, I'm just taking it off, putting the swimmer on there and just, just a little, like just a, just cause they're so pressured. They've seen so many swim jigs down here in Florida. A lot of these places, especially this time, I mean, geez, everybody's fishing these days. And this is something definitely, they can get some more bites when they're, oh, we're, oh, we dropped it. Oh my gosh, it scared me. Just like that, just instead of Texas rigging, is I'm able to just reel into them, just like that. I'm not having to, I'm not having to reel down and set the hook hard. And, uh, you know, you just reel into them, that weed guard pushes down, and, uh, you know, you're able to still get those fish. It's funny, I was just thinking that and he, and he ate it. <laughs> like, ah. So what I really like about this setup is that this is the same setup that I throw my uh, swim jig with on braid. It's just a 7.5 medium heavy uh, winch. You know, I like that 7.5 length because, you know, I'm, I'm making long casts, I'm in shallow water, I'm having to pick up line quick. Um, you know, just it's a really good setup for that, you know, even with the braid. So all I'm doing is I'm, I took the braid off, I got uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon on the same exact setup. I got a pretty high speed reel, uh, seven, three to one. Uh, sometimes I'll put it on an eight too. And then you just, I'm just throwing it in the exact same places I would swim that jig. A good way to pick them up after they've seen everything. So another cool thing that I do, uh, because we're going fluorocarbon, we're gonna have a little bit stretch uh, more than if we were throwing braid, is I, I'm gonna wanna spread this weed guard out. And what you do, what, what happens is when you spread that weed guard out, it needs less pressure to hook the fish. So with as finicky as they are, you know, with all the pressure, um, this definitely uh, allows you to just hook them a lot easier. You'll get hung up a little more, but it's definitely will help you hook a lot more fish than in that weed guard. Just spreading it just like that, push it down. It'll just, it'll be just a little bit easier to get that hook buried in them. Yeah, I've thrown this thing a lot of times. A lot of times in, in tournament, um, you know, I'll practice with the actual swim jig with the skirt and everything, and I'll get on a really awesome bite. It might really hammer them the first day, um, but you know, after you beat on them fish pretty hard, this is just something I usually follow up with, um, you know, after I have a really good day in that area, and kind of like they've all seen it, and you know, this is where I'll come back and surprise them with this thing. There we go. <laughs> a little guy, boy. Better not catching anything. There you go. There's one, let's see if we can't get a big one in here. One thing I really like with it, you know, being on that quarter ounce head, I'm able to, I'm able to speed it up, reel it almost right on the surface. Um, and then I can slow it down and, you know, I'm able to cover um, anywhere, for, anywhere from the surface down to you know, five, six, 10 feet with, you know, just, just by just changing my reel speed up. We're only in a couple feet here. I mean, it's pretty shallow, so I'm reeling it a lot faster. 
uh, than if we had a little more water. You know, I'm just going through this flat, water's pretty clear. And that's honestly where it's worked the best is what, you know, the typical situation what happens is you're throwing a swim jig, you got a little stain in the water, you're getting a lot of bites, you're catching them, then all of a sudden that water clears up on you. And man, I've gone from, you know, leading the tournament to zero in the next day because that water clearing up. And uh, this definitely is something that saved me now on those days when that water, you know, it's definitely a, when that water gets a little too clear for the, you know, I, I feel like the skirt material and everything is just a little bit more um, natural looking look.